Hey everybody, welcome to my studio in Nashville, Tennessee. The one request that I have seen the most from everybody is how to turn my bass guitar into a synth bass. I got four presets dialed up, ready to go, that are really musical, plenty of low end, that are going to feel great in your band or in your musical situation. Uh, let's jump right into the first one. This first example, I use a pick to get that pulse articulation thing. And I'm just muting with my hand, putting a lot of meat on the strings and just to get anything I can to just get more articulation and more punch. And this preset is going to help you. Uh, let's hear it with some drums. Let's slow that same preset down, and if you just tap it in, whatever your drummer's got tapped in or whatever the click track is set at, you can dial in your helix to that and you're locked in the whole song. All right, let's slow it down a little bit and hear the same drums, same preset, same everything, but with a different type of groove against it. All right, let's hear it. Really fun, super musical. You're gonna have a blast with that. You don't have to use a pick, you can use your fingers. You can even slap with it, you can pop with it. Any type of articulation will work with that preset. Moving on. Okay, this next preset is super fun. You can do a lot of what's called glissandos, slides, moving around, it's really articulate. Uh, it, it's the sound of like a wide open filter on a synth bass. Super funky, you're gonna love it. Here we go, let's hear it against some drums. Okay, the one thing that happens in pop music and really any type of uh, major production, they're going to side chain your bass to the kick drum. So that way you're gonna get the smack of the kick drum with your note coming in right behind it. Well, some people take that uh, compression trick and extend the release time. So it takes a while for that note to come in. It makes it really musical, really familiar, pumping sound. Super great, I love it. Let's jump into it, let's hear it with some drums. Okay, this last example, this might be one of my favorites out of this pack. It's super articulate. You can play as fast as you want. You can play as legato as you want. And it's still going to just transform your bass guitar tone into something totally different. And when you do that, it always pulls something great and new out of your playing. So first of all, let's hear it with some drums and then maybe just a little on its own. But who plays by yourself? It's always more fun to play with friends and hang out and make music with other people. That's why we do this. That's why I make these presets. That's why I dial them in. It always sounds better with the group. Always, always sounds better with the band. Always sounds better in the mix. All right.
These are four great, super simple, really musical synth based presets you can drop into any single Helix member of the family. So an HX Floor, LT, Rack, HX Stomp, HX Stomp XL. I don't know about the Helix, Helix Pod Go thing. You know, we're still working on that. We're, we're, we're saying prayers for it. We're hoping for the best for it. I don't know, but I do know all of the rest of them work. So anyway, go grab these presets. They're down in the description below. Pick them up, throw them in your rig, go make some great music. Let me know how you like them in the comments. If uh, let me know if there's a certain bass line that you want to hear me try to replicate in the you know uh, from a song or something like that. Throw it in the comments. I'll try to make the most out of it and uh, I'll try to figure it out. I got these great tools here that I can reference. Um, but main goal is what can we do with what's in our hands? I got a bass. I got a helix. I got a HX stomp. Let's make magic with what we got in our hands. All right, everybody. Thanks so much. Like, subscribe, do the whole thing. You know what to do. Later.